Hello all. <clears throat> I am back. This is Pink Airy and Jim. I feel like I have, I, you know, there's a need to say that now. Um, but I guess I probably should say it in like the middle of a video. Uh, because somebody still can cut off the beginning. So, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'm still a little salty about somebody still in my videos, guys. Anyway, this is you versus them. And this reading is for the 9th through the 16th of March. What is for Aries? I forgot about that. My Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. How did Aries view the relationship? How do they view this relationship? How do they view the relationship? Ten of Wands. It was burdensome. Uh, I feel like a lot of you guys felt like you were carrying more of the weight than the other person. You were bearing more of the responsibility. Um, I feel like this was a situation where you guys were always trying to make amends and the other person um, basically was not taking full responsibility for their own actions here. The Sagittarius energy. You just always wanted to get out, I feel like, um, start over. But for some reason, Aries... They do not like to give up on the people that they care about. I know firsthand about that. How did this other person view the relationship? How did they view the relationship here? How did they review the relationship? How did they review? How did they view the relationship? <clears throat> the six of coins. You know, something about them. This is Taurus energy here. But there's something about this energy that makes me feel like this person argued with you about them doing everything that they could, um, that they were giving everything that they could. But I feel like in their mind, they knew they weren't giving everything that they could. They knew this. They knew that the scale was not balanced here. They gave you a little bit and felt like, sometimes people give you something and feel like, okay, well, if I give them this, then that'll shut them the hell up. And that's kind of the energy that I'm, I'm getting here from this person. What's currently going on with my Aries? What's currently going on with Aries? Five of Wands. You've cut that struggle in half. I think it's a fight every day to not allow yourselves to be taken full advantage of. But I think you struggle with that. I think it's a constant battle, battle for you. To not allow the people that you love to like walk all over you here. That Leo energy. <clears throat> and that's where you're at right now. What's currently going on with the other person? King of Coins. Strong Taurus energy here in your reading for some of you. Um, this person I feel like is working. They're working a lot. I feel like that's that's really where their comfort is. It's like um, this person may even have like two jobs. They could definitely be a father. Okay. I feel like they are stubborn. I feel like they like the luxurious things in life. They they like to keep appearances too. But I feel like right now they are um, providing. They may be paying child support. They may be they they may have gotten married, but I don't. I'm not feeling married. I'm feeling more like as far as work is concerned. They focus on their money a lot, and I feel like this is the type of person too that. Um, they may show you that they care for you by buying you things. The focus is money. They don't really know how to love. That is that is my thing here. That's what I'm feeling. They show their emotions by buying you shit. What is influencing Aries? What is influencing Aries? Eight of Cups. Hmm. I feel like you gave your all into a relationship. You, you poured yourself into a relationship and that someone walked away from you 
and they walked away feeling like oh my god I just can't take this anymore from Aries but you're like what the fuck couldn't you take anymore you know I was the one that was putting my whole self and then some into this shit you barely gave any but I feel like this type of person too that you know the more you try to get them to see where you're coming from the more frustrated they would get because this is the kind of person that does not like to hear um, uh, criticisms because they feel like they're always right they're the one that's right I feel strong Taurus energy here uh, I feel Gemini too for some reason Pisces is here but I feel like that Eight of Cups is, is more about your energy. <clears throat> what is influencing the other person? What is influencing the other person? Three of Swords. This person's disappointed. They're heartbroken. They are. I feel like even if this is a male individual, they exhibit more female... Um, How do, I, how do I say it? On the outside, it's like they, they have this very masculine energy. Maybe over overly masculine energy, if it's a male. And they come across really, really macho. But in the inside, they are um, very sensitive. Very sensitive to criticisms. Very sensitive to um, being wrong or, or being accused of, of not being perfect. In other words, I feel a narcissistic um, energy coming from them, but they're heartbroken. They're disappointed. I feel like for some reason this person feels like maybe you um, deceived them in some way, cheated on them in some way. Hmm. That's labor energy there. Okay, all right, let's see. What's coming in for my Aries? What's coming in for Aries? Now I want to come out. Let's see what that is. The magician, Gemini energy, making shit happen. Okay, you get you get something in your head, um, but you act on it. This is the thing. This is making your wishes come true. That Gemini energy. Thinking about what it is that you want, what you need in your life, and making that shit happen. You have control from here on out. You have control. I definitely feel like somebody is wanting to make an appearance in your life. Um, I don't know if they're lining things up. It kind of feels like they are lining things up to where is advantageous for them but keep this in mind that you have control you are the one that's in control Aries so even if let's say this person comes back and they're telling you everything that you thought you wanted to hear um, use your discernment because I think that this person thinks they're extra smart this is what I'm getting. They think they're extra smart. And that if they want to come back, they can. Okay? What's coming in for the other person? Queen of Swords. I think they want to check you. This person, I feel like, wants to check you. They want to check you about something. There's something that they feel like you've done to slight them. I feel like this person's ego, ego is very fragile, though. Libra energy here. I feel Gemini is here. Libra, Gemini, Taurus is strong for you guys. I feel like since they've been away from you, they've been healing. You probably felt like this person left you without a care in the world. Walked away from you without a care in the world. No, ma'am. No, sir. That did not happen. There's something that has really rocked them. 
I don't know what that is. Let's see. Where is this leading? Where is this leading for Aries? And then we have a Knight of Wands. I feel like you're going to move on from this. That Sagittarius energy at the beginning and at the end. I feel like you guys are going to move on from this. I don't feel like this person is going to be able to um, manipulate dip you. I feel like you're ready to, for whatever it is that they're willing, they're, they're coming with. And um, you guys are ready to move on. I think you're over this chapter truly in your life. Some of you may be waiting on this person to provide an explanation or show some sort of, um, uh, what you call it, some sort of remorse. But for the most part, I feel like you guys are ready to like see what the future holds, honestly. What can this person expect? What can they expect? Ha. Emperor, there you are. <laughs> that you're going to stand your ground. You're going to stand your ground. Even if you have all of these emotions flowing through you, you guys are not wearing your emotions on your sleeve. You're not going to show that you're excited this person comes towards you. It's going to be like, what? Okay. You, you done? Yeah, that. <laughs> okay, so that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.